Well, voting is underway in Tasmania now as people head to the polls after a campaign dominated by issues of health and the economy. Both sides of politics were plagued by infighting and candidate issues and party leaders have staked their political futures on winning majority government. News Breakfast presenter Michael Rowland is in Hobart now. Beautiful scenes with the markets behind you there in Hobart. Michael, who's the front runner in today's race? Well, the front runner has to be Salamanca Markets, to be yeah. quietly, uh, 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 quietly Joe, because uh, it is a truly beautiful part of Hobart. Uh, in terms of the front runner in the election, uh, very hard to tell. Uh, one thing that has defined this election campaign was the relative absence of opinion polls, uh, which, depending about which way you look at it, could be a good or a bad thing. But it means we don't have a clear indication as to uh, how voters are thinking. We will uh, from now when the voters go to the polling booths right across this state. You'd have to say Peter Gutwin, the Liberal Premier, is in the box seat mainly because he holds most numbers in the Tasmanian Parliament going into this election. The Liberals have 12 seats. The Labor Party under the leader Rebecca White have nine seats. There are two Greens and two independents. There are 25 members of the Legislative Assembly, so the magic number, of course, is 13. Peter Gutman only needs to win one more seat to win a majority, but there is very strong support for uh, the Greens and also strong support for some independent candidates as well, which could muddy the waters in terms of majority government or not majority government tonight. Mm. Both leaders are particularly keen to win that majority government. Take us through the potential outcomes. There are various scenarios. OK, so scenario number one is Peter Gutwin's Liberals winning that extra seat and forming a majority government. If that was the case, that would be an historic third term for a Liberal government here in Tasmania. So that's scenario one. Scenario two, probably less likely, is the Labor Party are getting a big swing and getting those four seats needed to win a majority in the Parliament. Uh, unlikely, but anything's possible. And I guess the, the scenario that is looming is much more likely is some form of hung parliament with neither the Liberal Party nor the Labor Party getting that 13 seats majority and having to rely on a combination of Greens and Independents. We have both the Premier Peter Gutwin and the Labor leader Rebecca White absolutely adamant that they would rather quit as leaders of their respective parties than lead a minority government. So that could lead to days, if not weeks, of uncertainty here in Tasmania if there is not a clear-cut result tonight. Mm. And now the leaders made their final pitches yesterday. What were the key messages? Peter Gutwin is campaigning very strongly on his response to the pandemic. Tasmania was the first state in the country to snap its borders shut when the pandemic got really serious last year. The economy here, uh, based on a couple of recent private sector reports, is doing pretty well compared to other states and territories. So the Premier is, of course, campaigning very strongly on that. On the other side of the equation, the Labor Party and, for that matter, the Greens are campaigning on some serious social issues confronting Tasmanians. Yes, the economy is doing well, but there's serious issue with the health system. There has been troubles surrounding the health system here, the public health system in Tasmania, for many, many years. The Labor Party is promising to fix that, as are the Greens. And uh, we, we, are, uh, we are seeing a, a pretty red-hot housing market here in Tasmania. Lots of people, understandably, it's a very beautiful city in Hobart, want to move to Tasmania. That is forcing up prices, but the, the deep, dark underbelly of that is a really serious homelessness issue, a housing crisis. Both the Labor Party and the Greens are hoping to address that or saying to voters they'll address that if they win. So they're the key pitches. And as we go to where Tasmanians are out voting and hopefully getting a democracy sausage mm -hmm. on the way too. And you get yourself a democracy sausage too, Michael. We'll speak to you later on.